Hello everyone. I am making this video to show the issues I have found with the Toby Eye Eye Tracker 5 whilst using it to play Elite Dangerous. The Toby Eye Eye Tracker 5 is a head tracking device that allows you to look around in game both with your eyes and with head movement. I recently bought the Toby Eye Eye Tracker 5 to replace my Track IR5 with ProClip. The Track IR system does head tracking excellently, but has no eye tracking and it also suffers from errors in its tracking when there is even a fairly low amount of daylight in the room behind you. I also now have a wireless headset and wanted to get rid of the Track IR Pro Clip and its USB cable from the side of the headset so that I could be truly wireless. The Toby Eye Tracker 5 does not need any device on your head at all and daylight in the room doesn't affect its use. This is why I switched. However, I do have a few issues with mine. The first issue that I had with mine I actually resolved for myself. When my PC started up I had a roughly 50-50 chance that the Toby Eye software would not recognise that the Eye Tracker hardware was actually plugged in. I was having to keep rebooting the PC to get the Toby Eye software to see their eye tracker hardware. I eventually figured out that it was a timing issue and after setting the Toby Eye service to a delayed start in Windows services, it was then getting recognised every time I started my PC. This brought another issue though. The Toby Eye Game Hub software was still starting up before the eye tracker was recognised and wasn't working even after the eye tracker was recognised, unless you restarted the game hub. I decided to try and find a way to delay the start of that software as well. I happened to use a piece of old software called Wind Patrol. Uh, that software allows you to set a delay to your startup programs. So after setting a 1 minute 30 second delay to the Toby Eye game hub as well, my eye tracker is now being recognised and Game Hub works every time I start my PC. I passed this information on to Toby Eye Support, who have since added some of the information to their support documentation, as you can see here. However, this only mentions the action you can take to get the eye tracker itself to be recognised. Unfortunately, users are still going to be left with the issue of the game hub not working until it is restarted. In truth, Toby Eye should be adding in the delay to the Toby Eye service by default, as well as a delay in their game hub software to allow for the Toby Eye service startup delay. Until they do that though, this may be the only way of correcting this issue. And if you want to do this, then you will also have to find your own way of adding a delay to the startup of the Toby Eye game up, or you will have to restart it manually after the Toby Eye service has started. Now on to the unresolved issues. My Eye Tracker 5 also disconnects regularly when my PC has 100% CP usage. I have already gone through everything that Toby Eye recommends on their website, including not using the supplied USB extension trying different USB ports, all of which have been directly into the back of the PC. I have tried both USB 2 and USB 3 ports. I have also changed the power settings for the USB hubs in Device Manager to not allow the USB devices to be powered down to save power. None of these actions have made any difference. I do currently have a ticket open with Toby I support for this issue, but as yet have not had a response. Beyond that physical connection issue, I also have a few usage issues. Before I start showing you these, I should add that I have also tried resetting up the monitor with the software and recalibrating the gaze multiple times and it makes no difference to what I'm going to show you here. I will also say that I am using the current latest versions of the Toby Eye software at the time of making this video. All of my drivers have been updated to the latest versions available from the manufacturer's websites and I am on a reasonable spec PC running Windows 10 Pro which is also fully up to date. 
For reference, I have listed my PC specs and all software versions in the video description below. I'm now going to go through some examples of me testing the eye tracker to demonstrate the issues that I have with it. Here you can see the Toby Eye Game Hub, which is where you set up the eye tracker to behave how you want it to in a particular game. In this case, I am setting it up to work with Elite Dangerous. You can see that I have already set up the parameters to my liking. The blue bubble that you can see moving around is the gaze preview that I have turned on so that you can see where my eyes are looking during the video. The first thing I want to do is turn off head roll and head tracking so that the only view movement you are seeing in game is a response to my eye movement which is controlled by these gaze tracking settings. You can see I have the gaze limit set fairly low. This is because I prefer the majority of the movement in game to come from my head movement with just slight slower adjustments being made by my eyes. You can see here in game that my view is following my eyes with those slight slower movements exactly as it should be. All of the in-game movement is just from my eyes. If I move my head from side to side like this, nothing happens, which is again exactly as it should be, as head tracking is currently turned off. You will notice in the settings here that there is no option to turn off the gaze tracking. You can effectively turn them off though, by turning the gaze limits down to zero for both yaw and pitch, like so. Back in game, you can now see that nothing I do with my eyes or my head is having any effect on my view. My view is now fixed and there is no view movement from my eyes or head movement, which is correct as they are now both effectively turned off. Now I am going to turn head tracking and head roll back on. So now the only movement that we should see affecting my view in game is my head movement. I'm testing this by keeping my head motionless and just looking around the screen with my eyes. As you can see, the view in game is still being affected by my eye movement, although it is not the correct movement. When I look down with my eyes, the view moves up. When I look up with my eyes, the view moves down. When I look left with my eyes, the view moves slightly to the right. And when I look right with my eyes, the view moves slightly to the left. The movement also seems jerky and erratic, but it is generally the reverse of what my eyes are actually doing. Regardless, there should be no view movement from my eyes at present because the gaze tracking is effectively turned off. Now I am going to test the head movement tracking. First the pitch. Here I am moving my head to look up and then down in a straight line. As you can see the pitch head movement tracking is working fine and moves cleanly straight up and back down. Now let's try the your head movement tracking. Here I am moving my head from looking towards the centre of the screen to the far left of the screen in a straight line with no vertical movement. As you can see, the viewing game does start to follow me in a straight line, but then about halfway it suddenly starts moving upwards as well as to the left. My head is still going in a straight line. As you can see, this same pattern repeats every time that I try. Now I am moving my head from looking towards the centre of the screen to the far right of the screen in a straight line. As you can see the view actually dips down towards the halfway point before raising up again towards the far right. Again this same pattern repeats and happens every time. If I look from the far right of the screen to the far left of the screen in a straight line, then you can see both movement patterns are still there. My head is keeping perfectly straight, vertically the whole time. But the head tracking does not follow my head movement correctly. 
This is the Tobii Experience software, which shows a 3D representation of where your head is looking. As you can see, when I just look to the left here, you can notice the head does look slightly up here as well. And when I look to the right, you can also see the head look down slightly. So the erroneous head tracking is definitely within the tracker and is not something happening in Elite Dangerous alone. Those are my issues with the Toby Eye Tracker 5. I will be forwarding this video to Toby Eye in another support ticket. I will let you all know how this turns out. Uh, thank you all for watching and hopefully this video has been helpful.